And now to the story that so many of us are still trying to wrap our heads around. There was a man in a black, I think he had a black t-shirt standing there. He had a gun in his hand. I saw a man with a gun out shooting into a vehicle. We do not at this time have the answer why this happened and we may never know why. Well, we are learning more about what happened before and after two people died in the drive through of a Stowe Taco Bell. Police say 25-year-old Megan Kellerman was killed by 53-year-old Jason Williams before he killed himself. News 5's Catherine Ross has been following this story. She's in the newsroom now with what we're learning tonight. Catherine. Yeah, Rob, well, police say this was a short, tragic event that unfolded between two strangers, but it's really affecting the lives of so many more people. For a second day, this fast food restaurant is closed and a community is grappling with tragedy. There's no explanation or no reason that anything like that should ever happen. Still, police say we may never know why it happened. Wednesday night, witnesses report a driver was upset when another car beat him to the Taco Bell drive through They say 53-year-old Jason Williams rammed the back of 25-year-old Megan Kellerman's car. He then got out, shot and killed Kellerman, and then himself. We see a lot, but that was the worst we'd ever seen. Rubber City Rescue was among the first responders at the scene Wednesday. They helped take care of Kellerman's beloved dog in the aftermath. Penny was in the car at the time. She wasn't injured, but appeared shaken up. The rescue got Penny a bath and reconnected her with her family. The dog seemed traumatized, scared, but after I found out we were okay, it was okay. Kellerman's love for her dog, a parent in this photo provided by police. The image also showing off her cap and gown. Kellerman was a recent master's graduate from Cleveland State's business school. She was also known for her service work. Girls on the Run posting this tribute for the longtime volunteer coach. Staff there tells us she also worked with an outreach service for homeless youth. Williams' background includes recent trouble with police. Court documents show he was charged in Stowe Municipal Court with drunk driving, improperly handling a firearm, and an open container violation. The charges come from a March arrest in downtown Hudson. A police report says officers pulled Williams over on suspicion of impaired driving and then found an open bottle of liquor and a loaded handgun. The still open case in Summit County shows that Williams requested limited driving privileges be restored. He was scheduled for another hearing in September. Wednesday's tragedy leaves behind plenty of unanswered questions. Lives lost and others changed. Whatever happened for the reasoning for that horrible situation. Now, I also heard from Kelman's High School alma mater, Stowe Monroe Falls, today. The superintendent there tells me, Rubber City tells me that they're also mourning the loss here and they send their condolences to Kelman's family. Now, Rubber City Rescue says that they're hoping to offer free dog trading to the Kelman family after that traumatic event. Live in the newsroom, Catherine Ross, News 5. Man, oh man. Catherine, thank you so much for the updates.